let's talk about a lithium battery. Video that I filmed almost a year ago now, probably it's close to closer to a year. Which lithium will I choose out of the four options? So as you know, I end up going with the iTech World. A good price for what you get, but it's not quite capacity in the BMS to do what I want to do. But you know, I've always said with the in regards to a lithium battery, you have to always make sure that you got the BMS that's got the right capacity. Getting a bit windy though, but the old ostrich wing is handling it no problems at all. You can probably hear that whistling. That's a whistling from the strong wind. She'd be blowing probably 30 knots here right now, and I don't have any guy lines out. <laughs> so, but remember, this thing is set up properly, guys. We've got the tough touring brackets here. It's been a year now since I filmed that video, and it's been a very popular video. It's done something like approaching 10,000 views by now, and it's picked out pretty much since Christmas, since the start of this year. So I'm going to film another video soon, a continuation on that, with some of the offerings out there at the moment, and I'm still looking into it. But I was thinking of, like, you know, buying one of these batteries that are custom built, or buying a DCS or something like that. Something minimum, absolute minimum, 200 amps. Then the last couple of days I'm thinking, why not? Why not build my own battery system? I mean, I built a battery system similar to these lithium cells with all the balancing leads for my radio control helicopters. And there's nothing like these drones now where they got all this computerized and the satellites basically fly it for you and if you go back on my youtube channel back seven eight years ago you'll see some videos of me flying the helicopter around but i used to build my own battery systems for that and i used to get those sales from japan guys they were readily available from japan so i'm talking like over you know 10 years or so ago guys and they used to build my own systems there and it's very similar so i'm thinking why why pay someone else to build them so I've got an idea of building my own battery. I think I can make it 280 amp that'll fit where my existing 120X is. So that's the plan guys. Whether it'll happen, whether I'll end up buying a battery, I don't know. But most likely I think I'm going to save the money and you can save a considerable amount of money, quite a fair bit of money. The critical thing is to pick the right BMS. And I want to get a BMS that's going to sustain a minimum 200 amps continuous draw no problems at all that way then I'll have no problems running my air race pro so I'm thinking about filming that whether I film the building process of it I don't know if I'll show too much of that it's got to be a BMS that's got built-in Bluetooth so I'm able to be able to keep a monitor of the individual the voltage of each individual cells there are some BMS's sold in these cheap batteries that are very, very slow in balancing your batteries. As far as I'm concerned, as far as what I know about the batteries over the years where I built for my radar control helicopters, it's not so critical to have your battery balanced evenly as it is if you top charge fully charged all the time. In my case I keep this fully charged all the time because it's only a single 105 amp hour battery and I need as much of those amp hours as I can get. But if you're going to do that it's very critical that your batteries are topped right up particularly when you first get them. Particularly if you're building a new system. If actually if you're building a new system when you get the cells it's very important that you do a top balance charge and not only that, if you charge them to only say lock up to 90%, 95%, in theory you're going to get a longer life out of your battery as well. Building my own battery to save the money. And I think it'll be good for my YouTube channel. I don't know if I'll go into 100% detail showing step by step every process of building it. I don't know if there's a channel out there that actually shows you step by step on how to build your own 12 volt lithium battery system. If there is one out there, can you can you let me know? I'd love to watch it. So something I'm looking forward to in the future. Uh, when it's going to happen, I don't know. 
in the meanwhile I've got a lot of research to do find out which sales to buy I'm pretty though I think I'm gonna get what the EVO sells prismatic EVO sales you get from Alibaba or one of those places from China get four of those sales in they don't cost very much to get to get shipped over here in Australia the big research needs to be done is actually the BMS I want to make sure I've got a BMS that can handle continuous draw of 200 amps that's got Bluetooth so I can see the individual cell voltage of each cells I mean that's the critical part right there is that BMS guys and so thanks for watching guys thanks for watching right through to the end and till next time eh look after yourself be kind to everyone and cheers <laughs>